Hey guys, hey guys, guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be going back here. Actually, I'm playing as Alien Hominid. I grinded him up to level 70. That took forever because of my stupid high strength. All I have left is defense, eight more levels. Uh, that's okay. I can survive. Like, literally, I can survive. Okay, I'm going to be starting on here because I believe that's where I last left off. If not, then oops, uh, I'm just going to show you this again. Okay. I don't think I recorded this, though, so whatever. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, let me just turn my volume down. I don't care if I get hit. Okay, there. Yeah, if it's too loud, then I can't focus on my commentary and stuff. That's why sometimes I don't hear the ridiculous things Hattie says in the background. Or not Hattie, oh my gosh, the, uh, the narrator of uh, Battle Block Theater. Yeah. Why, why is my thing purple? I don't, I don't know why. What? That's actually kind of cool. Uh, my favorite color is purple, so I mean, whatever. I mean, why is it purple? I mean, what character has a purple background to their item stuff? Um, I mean, maybe it's the blacksmith, but I don't have that DLC, so, I don't know, that's weird. Okay, anyways, um, what should I talk about today? Um, I'm kind of busy all the time, so, uh, sorry if these episodes aren't appearing as often, it's just I don't really have time for anything, like, at all. Oh, man, but, uh, I've been reconsidering, Trickmeister did want me to continue Outland, uh, I started it and stopped it, and started it again, then stopped it. Because, uh, I just could not commentate for the life of me through that game, and I was like, ah, oh, I can't do this. It's too hard. <clears throat> but recently, I was like, you know, this game is freaking beautiful, and t there isn't too many Let's Plays on it. And not too many people know about the game, because it's only got, like, a thousand ratings, and most of them are five. So, yeah, freaking awesome. Yeah, I just love Outland so much. It's such a great game. It's, it's kind of hard at some points, but, uh... The amount of crap that, that's in it is just ridiculous. It's such a beautiful game. Okay. Anyways. Oh, I got my deer! Okay, whatever. Uh, I have sitting in front of me a Rubik's Cube. By the way, uh, his uh, magic jump is a beam of light that pulls him into the sky, which is kind of awesome. Yep. Aside from that, uh, there isn't much new. Just that the uh, big shot that he fires does a bit more damage. Okay, let's just... Uh, uh, I'm just trying not to get that, uh, get hit by the bats. Uh, nope. Okay, so I heard from Slippy that um, you can actually, oh, I'm sorry, you can actually get the bats off of you faster if you tap all the buttons. I'll, I guess I'll try that. I mean, I don't know exactly why that would work, but I mean, whatever. I'll try. <laughs> um, Jesus, what else can I, uh, here, let's just let one. I don't really notice anything, but, uh, I don't know. What do I know? Oh, jeez. He has, like, a hundred thousand coins in Castle Crusher, so don't question him. He's richer than me. Okay. There we go. Hmm. So. You found the tunnel. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, that was definitely a King of the Hill reference. Um, I'm just trying to think of what to, uh, talk about today. Um, I just recorded, uh... Uh, Hattie Haddington, the, uh, 25 minute or whatever episode. It's probably shorter because I'm gonna edit it out. Don't really have time to edit episodes today, but I do have time to record them, which is nice. Oh, nope. Ow. That actually did a lot of damage. Oh, okay. I give you props, shark thing. Uh, you've almost tickled me. Okay. Okay, the arrows aren't that hard to dodge. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I don't want to talk about generic stuff like that. Oh, hey, I never saw that before. Okay, let's... Ow. What should I talk about? I mean, oh, Legend of Korra. I have not watched it once, but I kind of want to because everybody that I know has said Legend of Korra is freaking awesome. Yeah, just hit that guy a bunch. Nice. Yeah, the big shot's actually really nice. It does quite a lot of damage. And, uh, I don't know, it just feels satisfying to be able to use this so fast. It's like, it makes me feel like I'm playing Alien Hominid HD again. Okay, not really, but, you know, I guess it sort of does, not really, but... I mean, ugh, big shot. No. I just love how you don't have to charge it up in this game. That actually kind of... It would make it harder, but I mean... What if it didn't use magic? You just uh, charged it up. It took a longer time to use. Oh my gosh, that would be like the most beautiful thing ever. I would just constantly spam it. It would be a really cool twist for uh, magic for a character. Okay. I'm... Now, what I like to do... Uh, I actually didn't talk about in that episode uh, what I like to do to grind XP off this guy. Um, what I like to do is drag him up here, and then, uh, um, X, 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 Y, Y, um, the opposite way of what, it, uh, where he's going. Otherwise, I just, uh, do it right here, like this. 
He'll let you uh, usually get like one or two of those in. But uh, otherwise, yeah, this is the uh, combo that usually works the best against him, either for grinding SP or just killing him in general. Yeah, as long as you uh, sun him. Let's uh, go ahead and hit him with these. Now, something else I like to do, I'll tell you when he uh, pops back up. Uh, let's just, yeah, block that. He can buy, uh, ugh, he can bleed, okay. He can be blocked by the uh, shield, the uh, panda thing. Okay, let's just hit that. I don't want to stay here and grind. I mean, I've been grinding for like 10 hours or whatever, I don't know. It was actually more like three hours, but seriously, with the high strength thing, it's just so much harder. Okay, there we go. Now, what I like to do is force him back into the corner like this. This works the best in single player, and then back up and just spam all my magic while he's coming at me. Yeah, but um, if you uh, put your shield up and uh, push into him, he'll uh, back up into this uh, invisible wall, making him easier to, um, I guess, uh, hit. Uh, it's not really hit, it's just it's easier to know where he's going to be, and... Uh, I guess more easily predicted or something, I don't know. Uh, something like that. I mean, it makes sense uh, with outwards. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever. Just back him up into the corner and then proceed to back up and kick the crap out of him. Yep. That's about it. Oh no, I just noticed my purple thing is gone. I like that. It was purple. Purple is a good color. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> just hit him. I wish you could uh, super fast spam uh, those shots, but I, I guess it's uh, fair. I mean, if you were uh, playing like Arena or something, that would be kind of cheap. There we go, he's dead. Man, look how little XP I got from that. I shouldn't even be using Giraffe anymore. I'm not trying to uh, get XP. I mean, I've got enough stats to uh, probably get through this game. I mean, I'll be leveling up along the way, so it's all good. Okay, so Tall Grass Field is next. Whoop, let's do this. Okay, grab the wrench that I can't use. Uh, may as well just get this too. I don't know why, but why not? Boop, and. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, uh... Oh, man. What else should I talk about? Oh, man. I was talking about Repent Harlequin, the, uh, TikTok... Said the TikTok man, the, uh, short story last episode, uh... Or, last, um... Uh... Jeez. What is it called? Oh, man. I can't remember. I almost forgot Hattie Haddington's name. But, uh, yeah. The Hattie Haddington run I'm doing, I was talking about Repent Harlequin that said the, uh, TikTok man a lot in that episode. It was freaking crazy. Oh, my gosh. But, anyways, yeah. I guess I could say again that, uh, if you're gonna spam anything, don't spam strength, like, ever until you're, like, level 78. Because uh, it becomes so much easier to grind for levels when you have low strength. Like, uh, it's, it's not that hard to explain, actually. Um, uh, leveling up, like, 1 XP, uh, calculated, uh, is like one hit you get on an enemy. It's not damage based, it's hit based. So if you do load lower damage, you'll be able to get more hits on them, and thus uh, more XP off of every enemy. Which is why don't spam uh, damage, or just strength, I mean. Magic is fine, that's way, like, if you do what I do and spam magic, then, like, defense, this is usually what I do. I go full magic, full defense, full agility, then full strength. That's how I do it. Because, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, why am I saying I don't know this so much? I don't know. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice I said that. Okay. Okay, just moving on. Moving on. Try not to say I don't know. Anymore. No more. No more. Okay. But, uh, yeah. That's what I do. Uh, magic, then defense, then agility, then strength. So I can get the uh, maximum amount of XP off these guys, but I thought I would try something different for a change with this alien hominid and spam mat- uh, I mean, uh, strength. God. Ah. I can't speak. But, uh, it didn't turn out so well, and I wouldn't do it again. I, I won't do it again. Ugh, I shouldn't have done it. Get out of that thing. Blast, oh, what? Ooh. Surprise, plot twist. Sneak attack. Okay, yeah, just juggle this guy a bunch. Uh, if you have low uh, strength, then just spam magic at him. It's not like he resists anything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you're at this point in the game, you should actually be level uh, around uh, 78, actually, because um, as long as you didn't spam strength, you can... Uh, you can get up to level uh, 78 very easily by fighting the uh, troll boss on insane mode in the thieves' forest over and over. Oh, whoa! I wasn't looking at the screen, and I'm—I don't have potions. That's great. Oh crap! Okay, uh, I'm just gonna hope this magic can kill them really fast, and I also hope that food will drop somehow. Oh crap! 
Oh man, I did not expect that, and I forgot to buy potions. Oh man, if I hadn't heard that phrase before, I'd be, I'd not be Game Sketch. I'd be, I'd be somebody that actually is good at this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've. Oh my gosh, if anybody understands that, that's because uh, in my original uh, LP of Castle Crashers, I, I forgot to buy potions so much. Oh my gosh. And, uh, I think I did that in my, uh, regular playthrough, too, a lot. Oh, man. Okay, I hope I didn't miss any food or anything, like, lying on the ground like the first beefy. I didn't see what he dropped. The very snow, not really. Oh, my gosh. Obnoxious bass drop jokes. Ugh. Or bass drop jokes. Oh, yeah. That fish. Oh, man. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hmm. Oh, man, I'm really... I don't know, it's not like there's that much to go in the level, it's just, I don't know, I don't want to die. Let's start the level over, that would be annoying. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna safely kill these guys, even though there's no real safe way to kill people. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna juggle these guys. Oh man, and right after this, I'm just gonna exit to the map and uh, go get some potions. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Ugh. Yeah, nice. Oh, nope. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man. I love how it counts as fire magic and it sets them on fire. That didn't happen in an alien hominid, but I'm sure glad it. Oh, nice. Uh, some fruit. Oh, wait. I have a sandwich. Is there uh, food in here? That would be really nice. Oh my god. That's actually kind of disturbing. I forgot how disturbing that was. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just open these up. Gem, come on. Please be food. And a sword. Ugh. Okay, whatever, I'm out. <clears throat> you know what? No. I don't need the giraffe. Why am I keeping him? You know what? You know what? Eat. I'm taking freaking bear thing. <laughs> I don't know why. Because he's got the derpiest face of all time. Look at that. Look at that face. Can you not handle the derp? Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep moving on. Uh, no point in uh, trying to glide in this part. Yeah, it just kind of makes you fall to the ground anyways. Uh, now, uh, I guess I could say this guy's gonna immediately fire an arrow. Just try to jump over it. Uh, yeah. Just immediately hit your juggle. If you have a magic jump, you should be able to make it to them eh, fine right from the start. As long as you got a running start to your jump, because uh, otherwise you'll travel kind of slow through the air. I don't know if you know that. Like, if you just try to jump without moving, you travel slower through the air. Like here, I'll try to show you. Yeah, like this. I'm trying to move as fast as I can here. But uh, if you start moving, then you jump. Yeah, it's actually easier to stay up in the air. Yeah, I, or no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, oh my gosh, I was actually thinking of the uh, weird uh, magic jump thing I was talking about. Wow, my mind just went like centuries back in my LPing. Oh man, I don't know what the heck that was. Okay, yeah, what I meant to say was you'll be able to move faster through the air. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I have just been like confused. I'm just trying to get this done, uh, honestly. Like, I don't usually do that with many episodes, but I've got a project to do, and I really gotta, I gotta stop recording soon. Or else uh, that project's not going to get finished, and it's worth quite a bit of points, and yeah, bad stuff. Bad stuff will happen. Especially because it's the end of the year. Okay, may as well just spam magic, I don't know. Oh wait, I forgot to buy potions. Oh well, I think I can get this uh, place done. Pipistrello is not that big of a problem at all. Like, honestly, if you know the uh, thing where you just sit in the back with your shield raised, it's easy enough. Okay, eat. Okay. Yeah, nice we got one. Okay, one trick you can do with these guys is, uh, here, let's just be careful not to, uh, have these things go head crab on me or something. There we go. Yeah, the XYY combo works beautifully on them if you can pull it off. It's kind of hard, though. It's hard to, uh, do it. There we go. Basically, you just gotta swipe away from them, turn around on the second hit, and then, uh, uh finish the combo up. Yeah, I learned that actually from Arcade Classics, who, again, is awesome. I can't express that enough. He helped me actually, uh, he uh, guided me through the Necromancer fight, oh my gosh, on Insane Mode, with my Industrialist. Like, seriously, I, that was like one of the easiest characters to do that with, and I just completely failed it. So many times, like, I failed it so much that I ended up uh, going from 22,000 gold to 32,000 gold uh, in the process of doing that. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of XP. That was sick. Oh my gosh, that was actually really awesome. Oh man. Yeah. I did it twice too, that was sweet. Okay, anyways, let's just uh, kill Pipistrello and have it over with. Okay. 
So again, just like in my original one, to just sit in the corner and uh, either spam arrows, spam magic, whatever. Just make sure he does not hit you, otherwise it'll break it and you won't be able to uh, do this anymore. Yeah, he'll uh, summon his little bitey bats in and uh, that'll be it. Just uh, basically keep the uh, shield button held down and just stop shooting or whatever you're doing when uh, he starts to try to lick you. Easy enough. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I, uh, what I do is I switch back and forth between magic and arrows just to try to conserve my magic so I can just nail a bunch. Oh, no, 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 no. Time out. Uh, no frame drops, right? Yep. Okay, I can't believe it. I forgot to turn off that stupid screensaver again. And if you were watching uh, my Hattie Haddington run, you know exactly what point that was, I think, unless you didn't watch the whole video. And, uh, yeah, that happened to me in that video, too. The uh, screensaver turned on. I was, like, freaking out. Uh, whatever. Oh! Holy crap! I just got one-shotted by Pipistrello. Defense. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, ow. Uh, jeez. Uh. Oh, man, I have nothing to say about that. That was just a complete fluke. I accidentally let go of the uh, shield button. Okay, whatever. I'll see you guys when I'm back there. That was complete, total fail. Okay. See you guys when I'm there. Hey, I just noticed something. Are these supposed to be, like, little gishes? If you know what gish is, that's awesome. I believe it was made by the same people uh, that made Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac. Uh, but, uh, are these supposed to be, like, gish? I don't know. I can't remember. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, I have no clue. I mean, that would be a really cool reference. I just got it after two years of playing this game, though. Uh, whatever. Okay, we're back with this fight. It shouldn't take too long to kill this thing. Like, seriously, uh, I probably just should speed it up or just skip it entirely. You know, I think I might just skip it entirely because honestly, it's just me sitting in this corner firing stuff at him until he's dead. It's boring as crap. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, see you guys then. What? Uh... Oh. 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 What? Oh. Oh. What the heck? Are you joking? Oh. Ugh. You're dead to me. Just get me out of here. Ugh, that was too much fail for my small brain to <laughs> handle. Ugh, I can't even think of the word handle. Ugh, you know, I'm out of here. Just please let me leave this place. Oh my gosh, that was... Far too much fail for this episode. I was... <laughs> I failed twice. Oh, my God. Uh... You know, I'm just gonna sit here and, like, moan for a couple minutes. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>